All right, I'm just going to make a quick kind of 10 minute blog post into how we're doing color keying and uh, what we've done. I'm going to be using some footage that Mark took of uh, me, Riff, Raz, and Chris on the green screen uh, just to demo it and show you how to go about it. So, first things first, uh, I'll just quickly show you the footage. Uh, it's labeled Untitled 1 in here. And I'm going to be replacing the green screen background with the uh, an image I found off the internet of just a road. It's quite simple. Quickly played the footage. Um, here we go. Um, it's me, Frizz, and Chris just walking down, me looking a bit like an idiot. <laughs> Best way. Okay, and that's basically the footage we're going to use. So, first things first, we'll load up After Effects. I'm using CS5. Uh, you also notice on the bottom of the right screen we've got a final cut and rotor brush. This is from me testing it earlier to make sure we can uh, quickly just show you. So, first things first, going to import that footage plus the image we're going to use. Um, image I'm using is this. See, it's just basically a road, um, quite yellow. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. So, let's just close that. I'll see now it's the lighting's wrong, but on a real setup of a green screen, you sort the lighting out on the characters. But this again is just test footage. So, select both those, drag and drop it into the project window, and they're both accepted. So, what we want to do is drag the uh, movie into the composition window and we'll get one like so. It's worth noting when you bring it into here to make sure that this is selected if you've been recording from a, uh, one of the cameras in the university otherwise it'll presume it's a uh, just a standard screen if you click that, it drops it into widescreen and you can just work with it, it'll be easy. Okay, and uh, we've got the image in there and we'll just drop the image behind our uh, movie we want. Also right click the comp settings give it a name, uh, we're going to say green screen test and also we're going to up the frame rate to 50 frames a sec. Um, I'll show you why in a minute, that's basically for the rotor brush so it can understand and work a lot better with it. Okay, CS5 is slightly different with previous versions in that we can um, use the rotor brush. So we're going to screen it out and then we'll use the rotor brush to just tweak it up a bit and bring it a lot closer to where we want. So if we go over to effects and presets on the right of the screen and we just type in here key light and you'll see it brings up a 32-bit plugin called Key Light 1.2. If we just drag and drop that onto the um, video footage, oop, my bad. just make sure the video footage is selected when you drop it on, and you'll see the cross appears. You just drop that in, you can now see it's a plugin made by the Foundry. Now this is pretty much the standard way of doing green screen. So if we get the screen color, and this sets what you're going to be using for color keying, in this case we're using a standard green screen, and you'll notice we've got couple of lights up. Uh, we'll also be removing Chris and, Chris and Ifraz, but uh, for now we'll just uh, remove the green screen. So you click that and it's got the image behind. We'll just toggle that off and you'll see it's kind of, the green screen's gone black. You can see the ripples, you can see other things. That means the green screen's there but it's not set up correctly. So first things first, if we click uh, the view setting on the left and we do that to screen map, we can now see what it is removing and what it's not. We basically want to get the white as white as possible, that includes the people, and the black as black as possible. The way we can do that, we just go to screen map, we can just tone these up a bit. I've uh, done this before, I know about 54, 52, yeah, that's about as black as we're going to get it. Uh, and we need to just clip it so that the black becomes really black, and that's pretty, let me zoom in, pretty perfect actually. Yeah. And now we just need to bring, make the black, uh, what, sorry, the white as white as possible. So we do that by just tweaking this the other way. And uh, around. One sec. Just trying to get all the detail out of this shirt. We want to find this best point, which is around there, I would say. And then we can just clip the black up a bit more. If you look, you know, it's around my leg and if Ress's leg, we can just clip the uh, image a bit more. We just get a bit more of that. There we go. So now we've got this image where we can obviously see what's being keyed in and what's being keyed out. So if we have a quick toggle back on the top view to final result, we can, um, if we zoom in, we'll just see that it's quite rough edges. We can get around that by adding a couple of pixels of um, blur just around the outside of the map. I'd say a touch more than that because we're not really in focus about right. You can just see it's a lot smoother around the edges. Um, 
you can also see what it's done if we just go back to uh, screen mat on there and we'll just turn that to zero you'll see it's just made it a lot more crisper so I'll just put that to 3 pixels ok um, let's go to the final result and we can just see basically what was green before is now black and every and just the people inside as we want uh, have quite a lot of detail and you can actually still see if we just toggle the image on we've still got the black there from uh, pants and stuff.